Now, um, as I said earlier, do you know that actually you can make a lot of money trading futures? That you can grow a little account, let's say just a hundred dollar up to a thousand dollars, or even more. You can grow just twenty dollars up to a thousand dollars, or even more, depending on how efficient you are or, or how you understand this platform. You can actually make a lot of money with features. And looking at the positions I have opened here right now. As you can see, I have um, this um, particular coin trading. And what you can see in my margin, my margin means how much I am actually risking. The amount of money I'm actually risking to make this. This is, this is my profit right now. And this is the amount of money I'm risking. So you can see that I'm risking as low as 20 USDT. And right now it was actually more than, I think it was about, it was about 25 USDT or there, but it has reduced down to, um, to 18. That is because I have not hit my target yet. So if I hit my target, the target is um, if this token right now is about two, three, twelve. If it hits three, twenty or thereabouts, we're making about seventy USDT from this market. So you can go as this and make as high as this. And this is is a, a way you can use to grow your 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 account. And here I am risking just seventeen USDT here. I am risking 17 USDT here, and currently I'm equally in profit in this trade. And this is making about two USDT per this token, per, you know, in this trade. So this is making profit already, as you can see. And the platform we are leveraging on is OKX. I don't know how many of us who have an account with OKS right here. And there are a few reasons why I use OKS. I will leave the link. So I just left the link. If you don't have an account with OKS already, go ahead and create an account. Among all other exchanges that I use, among all other exchanges that I have on a, a verified account with, I like using OKS because of how simple it is. And another reason is that when I'm trading features, um, the low fee that they charge equally amazes me. And nobody wants to make this money. And at the end of the day, they spend all of them in fees and the rest. So there are a few reasons why I use OKS. It is easy to navigate, whether I'm using the mobile app or I'm using the desktop version of it. Um, I can always assess my trade even when I'm on the go. And the beautiful thing, I've shared a lot of content about OKS on my channel that you can go and look at, most especially trading new coins than the rest and trading sport and features. And then the end um, version of it um, where you can stake your coin. For those of you holding Shiba Inu and other tokens, you can stake them when you go to the end tap here, stake those coin and be earning more coin from it. So don't just hold your crypto. If you just hold it, you're losing money. You can be making a, a more of that. I've made over 90,000 uh, Shiba Inu. So um, I was talking about staking, few reasons why I use OKS. Um, staking, um, you can actually stake your coin like the Shiba Inu, the ADA you are holding, you know, all of those tokens, you can stake them. And with the NTAP here, you can stake those um, coin and make more profit from it. And make more profit from it. I have some Shiba Inu that I'm staking with OKS and I've made over 90,000 of Shiba Inu. Meaning that if I'm patient enough to hold Shiba Inu until it gets to a, a dollar, Let's say in 10 years from now, if Shiba Inu gets to a dollar, that means I'll be 90,000 Risha. And you know, this is what I have earned extra. And whenever I said I don't want to stake any longer, all of these tokens will come back to me. So there are a lot of features that I like about the um, um, OKS platform, that it is simple to use and stuff like that, that you can use them and stake your coin and be making profit from it. So those are just uh, reasons why I use OKS um, in all of my trading. And one thing I would do is once you have your OKS account verified, if you want to trade features, once you come in here on the uh, homepage, you just come in here to market, to trade, you come in here to either basic trade or margin um, trading, you just click on it to bring you to this interface you are seeing here right now. When it brings you to this interface, this is what you are going to do. First, you want to select the token that you want to trade. In this case, I'm trading compound USDT uh, because when I click on this, you see that I have spot tab here, I have, um, I have um, perpetual, I have features, I have margin, I have options. So normally I go with perpetual swap. Features, you know, when you talk about features trading, what people know most, mostly on, on trading platforms are spot trading and features. Now features, perpetual swap, margin, options, all of them are under derivatives. Here is you stake or you are betting your money or you are predicting the price, the market, that it will go this way. And if it goes in your favor, you make money. If it goes against you, you lose money. So anything, but I like using perpetual. And the difference between perpetual and features is that perpetual don't have expiring date, but features has expiring date. If I click on features there, you see BTC USDT has a date attached to it, meaning that 
this trade or this other year will expire on the 26th of November. So these are the data that are bought on perpetual swap. You don't have those expiring data attached to it, but you pay funding fee with the perpetual um, swap aspect of it, which is not much because if you are making profit, all of those things are taken care of and the rest. So when you come in here first, you select your coin. Once you select your coin, the next thing is to select the leverage you want to trade on. And for every other coin that is not BTC, you can trade from just um, one, um, one X leverage up to 75 X leverage. This is how long you can go. If you are just starting up, I will just advise you to stay between one and 10 X so that you don't go and risk your account. Now the leverage here is based on the amount, the more the leverage, the more profit you make. The more the leverage, the more profit you make. And the more the leverage, the quicker your account can be liquidated actually. The more the leverage, the quicker your account can be liquidated. Now, if I show you now on, on the company USDT, the leverage I am using on the position here, on the company USDT, I'm using 75 um, 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 X as the leverage, 75 X as the leverage. Now, when you look at my liquidation price, this is my liquidation price. I'll be liquidated if this coin gets to $289. If it gets up to down to $289, my account will be liquidated. Liquidation means that I will lose all of this money that I've bet here. And why I will lose all of this money that I've bet here is because I am using isolated here. Here you have, these are the trading options, the, the trading um, options that you have. You have cross and then you have isolated. If I use cross here, I am risking every amount of money that I have on my account, on my trading account actually. On this official trading account, I am risking every month. Let's say I have a thousand dollars here and I'm using, I'm, I'm, I'm using cross. When I use cross, it means that whenever the, wherever the liquidation price is, once I am liquidated, I will lose everything on my account. But if I use isolated, it means that I'm going to only lose the money that I have stake here, which is in this case is 20 USDT. And in this one, 17 USDT, this is the only money I'm going to lose if I am liquidated in this um, market. But if I use cross, is everything here that will, will go. I'm staking everything. And if I use cross, I cannot open two trade because when I use cross to trade company USDT, every other coin is stake on this company USDT. I cannot, even if I see opportunity in another coin, I cannot open that coin. I cannot trade on that coin. So that is one thing you need to know about um, this because on cross, you are staking the whole of the account for that particular token you are trading. Why isolated, you are staking just this amount of money, which is this margin you are seeing here. And then this margin you are seeing here. So at the end of the day, once you select your coin, the next thing is to select the um, number of leverage you want to use, whether you want to short the market or you want to long the market. Now on, on perpetual swap on official trading, when we talk about longing the market means you are buying. When we short the market, you are selling. You understand? So these are, when you open, another word used for it is open and close. When you close the market, you are, you know, um, um, selling. When you open the market, you are buying. These are things. So once you select the isolated, the trading type, you select your leverage. After that, you want to come in here. Let's say I want to trade with a limit order. Limit order means that I'm going to specify the price at which I want to enter the market. Uh, right now, the market is at um, 311 USDT. If I want to enter the market, let's say I, I am hoping that the market will go down to 300 USDT. I'll just go ahead and put 300. Now, this option of putting my own price here is because I am using the limit order. If I want to go with the market order, it means that I'm going to buy right now enter the market, enter this position right now at 311. And when I enter there, all I just need to do is to put in the amount of money, um, amount of compound coin that I want to trade. In this case, I am going to use this percentage slide that is here. So I have 26 USDT as my balance. If I want to use 25% of that 26 USDT, I'll just use this slide. So it means that I'm going to use 25% of this USDT as seen here. That is exactly what I'm going to use. I'm using 25% of this. If I want to use 100%, it means that I'm using the whole of this 26 um, USDT that, I'm seeing, that you're seeing here. So in this case, when I trade with little amount of money like this, I am ready to risk the whole of this amount of money. Even if I don't put, put stop loss, it doesn't um, actually pay me. But when I trade with the higher amount, like $200, $300, I am staking because assuming I'm staking 200, this um, 20 you're seeing here, I'm staking 200. With this 75X, this would have gotten up to, um, let's say $200 plus or, or, or more. So the more the margin, the more amount of money you have on the margin, the more profit you make. 
this is one thing I want us to understand. The more money you have on your as uh, on your margin, the more profit you make. So whatever you are ready to say, let's say you have a total account of $200 on your account, and then you just want to raise $20, you can actually use that um, by just using this percentage slide. And you know, let's say you want to trade with 10%, you go ahead. At the end of the day, you go ahead and click on open. If I go ahead and click on open here, now here you have take profit and stop loss. Let's say I want to take profit. I'll just go ahead and check that take profit tab. When I check the take profit tab, I'll now say, okay, I want to take profit when this coin gets to $400. When it gets to $400, what this trade is simply telling me is that I'm going to make $53 if it gets to my target. What if I use 100% of this money? Now, if I use 100% of this money and this coin grows up to $24, it means that I'll be making $547, staking just 26 USDT. For me to be able to make this money, it means that the market must continue to go in my direction and it must go until it hits $400. If it hits $400, I am going to make $5. 147 USDT in the market. So these are just the strategy, meaning that I can open this trade and leave this trade to run for days or even for weeks to be able to meet, hit this target here. But if I just want to make profit in a day, I look at the chart, let's say um, with the five minutes chart, this trade actually opened up. Uh, today it came down to as uh, low as uh, 304. And then it went up to, it went up to um, 315. So let's say I entered at 304. Let me go to the limit um, tab here. I entered at $304. And then I traded with the whole amount I have here, which is $26. If I go ahead and take profit, let's say I want to take profit at 315. How much will I be making? 315 USDT means that I would have missed 70 USDT just trading this market. And this moment is just between here in less than a few hours or there, about just from 304 up here, I would have made 70 USDT trading and risking 70, um, 26 USDT. So these are the few things I want us to understand before I go into the strategy actually. So if we understand this, I can now go ahead. Now for every exchange I use, just like um, um, the, the OKS that I use, you have trading view, um, trading, trading view chart embedded into it. The original here represents the OKS chart, charting platform. But I normally use the trading view because on the trading view, you have access to adding more indicators and the rest. So I work with a minimum of two indicators. The indicator I'm going to add here is first, I will expand this chart. I'll go ahead and expand this chart by clicking on this full screen. When I click on this full screen and I'll go ahead and open up my chart this way. So few things I want to do here is I want to add my own indicators into this chart. And to add those indicators, this is the icon for your indicator here. These are all your time frame. If you want to look at the time out from one minute, 15 minutes, one hour, two hours, you go ahead and click on any of this. Right now, I'm looking at it from the five minutes um, time frame, meaning that every candle here represents five minutes. So I'll go ahead and click on the indicator here. When I click on the indicator, the first indicator I want to add here is super trend. So I'll go ahead and click on super trend and click on this. And you see the super trend has been added. And then the next one I want to add is the EMA. EMA, this moving average exponential, this is the next um, indicator I'm going to add and I'm done. These are just the two indicators that I want to work with. Now, to modify this indicator, to be able to see this line very well, I'll click on the EMA here, I'll click on the setting icon here. So I just go ahead and click on it and I'll change it from the nine moving average to 200. So what this simply means is 200 days moving average. That is what this line is going to calculate for you. And I'll go ahead to the style and make the line a bit thicker and just click on this so that you be able to see that the line is that thicker. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. Once I click on OK, the next thing I want to do now is to tweak this other super trend. So I'll go ahead again, click on the setting icon on the super trend and just make this more visible so that we'll be able to see it very well. Make it more visible. And then go ahead and click OK. So once I do that, um, this is what we have now. The indicator here, the super trend will give us a signal to enter to buy or sell in the market. The super trend indicator is used as a signal a lot. It gives us, you know, when to enter the market and when, when to buy, when to sell. This is what this signal, this super trend does for us. Why the EMA here is used to determine the trend of the market, the direction of the market. Now, to determine the direction of the market with this EMA it means that whenever these candlesticks are above this EMA, we can only you look for a buy option. 
a buy, you know, we are only looking to buy the, the market. Now, when these candlesticks are above this, the, the EMA line here becomes a, um, a, a support, meaning that this can come down here. When it hits this EMA, it bounces back and goes up. When it hits this EMA, it bounces back and go up. So when these candlesticks are above the EMA, the EMA becomes a support. And then when the candlesticks are below the EMA, the EMA line here becomes a resistant, meaning that for, for many times this um, Candle will move up, hit the EMA here, and come down, hit it again, come back before it breaks through. So whenever these candlesticks are below this EMA, we can only look for a, a sell option. And then whenever it is above, we only look for a buy option. Basically, this is just what I want us to understand. And with this two indicator, you can do a lot. So whenever you see this line below here, you see a buy option. When these candlesticks are below, you only look for a sell option. Even when you see this um, green signal, the green signal means buy. But whenever you see this green signal, always ignore the green signal whenever you see it below this EME. But when you see the green signal above the EME, you take the buy option. And then when you see the red signal above the EME, please ignore it. You only take a sell signal whenever you see it below this um, uh, moving average uh, exponential line here. So for instance, if you have entered this trade here, when this broke through here, you see that it gives you a signal to sell. If you have sold there, you would have made profit somewhere around there. Um, if I go ahead and bring up this um, short position, let's say you enter the market somewhere around there. You enter the market somewhere around there. You would have taken profit somewhere around there. And then your stop loss would have been here or there about. So you would have entered here and made profit somewhere around there. And this is a perfect example of two to one ratio, meaning that you are risking 1% of your funds and then you are making about 2% um, of, of, of that. So now that we have seen a signal, um, the, just a signal run here, once it crosses this EMA above, you can go ahead and take a buy signal. If you have taken a, a buy signal somewhere, you would have made profit here. And um, this is the example I was giving us. Let's say you, are, you are entered the market at 308, you would have taken profit at 315. And then you would have made between 60 70 dollars depending on the leverage you are actually using if you use 20 years you may not be making that up to that amount of money and as it's coming down here once it hit this again there is every tendency that it to continue to go up again until it breaks through and then hit your target profit and go ahead and you know make profit from that so once again using this once you expand this um, trading view on the trading pattern on the OKS, the trading the trading view chart on the OKS platform, all you just need to do is to go ahead and add super trend and the EMA. The EMA tells you the direction of the market. Whenever these candlesticks are above it, you are in an uptrend. And then when they are below the candlesticks here, when the candlesticks are below the EMA, you are, in it. You are only looking for a sell option. So this way you'll be able to determine the market. And once you are able to do that, you will now come in here and then set up your trade and take your trade. That way you set the trade and you'll be able to make profit from the market. I hope this is understandable enough. And um, like you can see here, these are all in profit. If I want to close it, I'll go ahead and close it and make profit, but I'm still sure that it will hit my target. And when it hit my target, I'm going to make profit. As I said, if I come here to the open orders and um, go ahead and click on my stop here, you see, I want to take profit when this one gets to $1. And I want to take profit when this one gets to 220, $320. In this case, I'll be making it at 70 and then $143 here and stuff like that. So this is how simple it is actually. It sounds simple, it looks simple, but it is actually very risky for those who you know, cannot control their emotions. And this is the reason why a lot of persons lose money when it comes to fissures. They can't control their emotions. And once they lose $1, they want to make, you know, they are like, they want to fight the market. They want to make $10 back. When they lose $3, they want to make $20 and then they use higher leverage. Even when they don't know the direction of the market, they go ahead and enter the market and they can lose money. So a lot of persons find it difficult to control their emotions. And if you're able to manage your emotions very well, manage your risk very well, you'll be making money from this market. This is all I have for you this evening. I will now take your questions and to throw more light on this. Just unmute yourself if you, if you have any question regarding what I've just said now, mute yourself and let's take it up from there. Yes, go ahead, I'm hearing you. Okay, thank you very much on this uh, lecture on this um, trading and features. I I want to know 
So when do you take profit? And how do you take profit? Since it's not a prime bot, it's not a robot, it's manual, I guess. So how do you take profit? I don't know if you understand my question. Sir. How do you take profit when you treat fishers? Is that what you're asking? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, um, if you follow what I was saying there, before I place any trade here, if you are still seeing my screen, I have the option to set up the take profit um, option here. I have the option to set take profit here. So the take profit is this. I will enter the market at 311 or whatever, or 300, whatever market I specify here. Automatically, I'm going to say that when this market hits 315, I'll take profit. And the reason for doing this is this. Let's say I've looked at this chart. I've looked at this chart. Let me open and expand this again. And scalping the market, when I'm scalping the market, it means that my trade will not last more than a day. Um, when it does inter intraday trading, I'm, it's not going to last more than a day. And I trade on a lower time frame. Trading on a lower time frame could be five minutes or 15 minutes. So this is on the five minutes time frame. Five minutes meaning that um, today, today alone, this trade came down to as low as $307. And then it went up again to 313, 315, and then before it started reversing back. Now, what I've said is, what you will now do is once, because once this candlesticks are above, you are looking for a buy order. When they are above this EMA line here, you are looking for a buy order. So let's say I, I came into this market when they started crossing above, and I want to enter, let's say at 308, 308, I'll just close this. Come in here and say, okay, I'll enter the market at 308 or thereabout, somewhere around here. And when I enter, I want to raise either 10%, 20 depending on the balance that you have here, so I will come in here and say, when this market hit $315, I want to take profit. Or when it hit 320, I want to take profit. If I go ahead and open this long order, this is my target here. Once it hit this market, this target, here, automatically this trade that is running here will close. You understand? But let's say it has not hit your target. And right now, as you can see, I am making 15 USDT already. If I want to close this trade, all I just need to do is where it says MTK, MKT close off. I'll just close it. And in this case, I'll be making just 15 USDT. And if I close this other one, I'll be making just this nine USDT. Currently, these are all in, all in profit because you see here nine USDT, here nine, 15 USDT. So if I want to close it, I just go ahead and manually close it. Without, if okay. I don't want to wait for it to hit my, my, my target, you understand? Oh, okay. Yeah, but because okay. I'm sure that it will hit the target, I will just keep uh, let it keep running until it hit okay. the target. But if I want to close it now, I just go ahead, MTK close or uh, sorry, MKT close or and it will close all of this in profit. Okay, that's what I need to know. That this one is you have to close it manually, not that it will take profit automatically for you because you have set a profit margin here. If yes, that's what I want it, to understand. Yeah, if it doesn't hit the target, you have to close it manually to take profit. Okay, okay, that's yes. it. I know that gradually I will get used to the terminologies and the processes and all that. Yeah, please, if you are if you are not used to it yet, what I will advise, if you want to try this, don't try it with a real account. You can actually go try it with um, a demo account. OKS gives you a demo account, and uh, you have up close to um, 10,000, 30,000, depending, or even up to 100,000 to actually trade. Um, OK. For, with How do we get account. a demo account? We have the option here. Once you create your <clears throat> account, once you come in here to... I have an OK account. I have it on my phone. OK. Just uh, over over your asset, you see start demo trading. So once you click okay. on the demo trading, automatically it takes you to the demo account where you can start you know, trading, demonstrating. If I click on it, it takes you to the demo account. And everything okay. you are doing is going to be on the demo account. So why you learn this thing, practice it on the demo account until when you are efficient, everything you see on the live uh, account is on the demo account. So okay. I can go ahead and you know select this company USDT or select BTC and then go ahead and long the market. And once you long the market, you can go ahead you know, and practice all of these things. Let's say I want to trade BTC, I can go ahead and click on it. And when I click on it, I can come in here. Let's say I want to long BTC. For instance, the question you asked now, I want to use
use the market order to long BTC. I'll go ahead right now, I have about 3,000 USDT on my demo account. So with this 3,000, I'll go ahead and put, let's say 50%, 50% will be like 8,500 plus or thereabout. And now I want to take profit when it gets to um, 60,000 or 60,500 60, or thereabout. 60,500, I'll go ahead and click on that. If you want to put stop loss, you check this again. Then you put your stop loss. Let's say I want to put my stop loss at 58. Just go ahead and put your stop loss there. And since I'm buying, I'll go ahead and buy or long the market here by just clicking on this. And once this pops up, you go ahead and confirm. Just confirm it. Once you confirm that, that will automatically be placed. So you see your position. And this is what I, okay, is on the cross. And I'm using that the leverage is 20X. So you'll see my position right Please, here. where did you place the order, sir? And Sorry, where, where did you place the order? I, I just click on this buy or long demo. 